My name is Lainey Mullen, and um, I'm an American, but I'm here at the Ilkhom Theater in Tashkent, Uzbekistan, right now in the main lobby. Um, I studied here for two years, from 2006 to 2008. I was studying in another theater, and I decided to do an exchange program. Thought it would be interesting to come here, and uh, I came here, and I didn't want to leave. It was uh, it was actually a difficult place to study. It was far more demanding than I ever expected, um, and even personally, soulfully demanding, uh, not just in, the, in, in, in work or the technique of learning how to act. Um, but I could see that I had found a really incredible place, an incredible body of actors, uh, and an incredible vision here. So I stayed for two years to study. After that, I um, went back home. And again, this place called to me, and I came back um, about three months ago, and I'm here for another, um, hopefully for a year, to do some um, projects, maybe in directing, um, possibly in acting, but actually, uh, most importantly, in studying the theater itself and talking to people and learning about the methods that they use here and um, the reasons that this kind of artistic family, this kind of artistic place was born, and, um, and about the director who started this theater. So, um, to tell you a little bit about the director, his name was Mark Yakulovich Weil, and he was born in Tashkent during the Soviet Union, and he um, studied theater criticism and was also quite interested in theater directing, and um, studied some of that, but not in the uh, official sense. And he decided with a group of friends that he was just going to do the kind of theater that he wanted to do. And uh, they created this studio space in the basement of a hotel uh, where there was actually a restaurant and they had to clear out vegetables and, and, and clean up the space just to do their thing. And they were all working in professional theater, so they worked actually really late at night. And anything that they showed to an audience, they showed after all of their shows had finished in other theaters. We ran back here, showed plays, uh, rehearsed for new ones after that, and came home at wee hours in the morning. And, uh, and that's the way they worked um, for a long time, and you can really see it uh, even in, in, in modern days. So here I am uh, in 2013, and people are still working for very small amounts of money, uh, and really for, for passion and for the love of having a chance to do something really interesting artistically, and um, to do something personal, straight from their hearts, about themselves, and uh, to say something about the place that they live in. How did you find uh, Mark Weil, or how did he, he find you? How did you find Il Khom? I, I was studying at the University of Washington, and they had an, a regular exchange program going, so I met him there, talked with him, was totally convinced to come here, and, and that's, that's how I learned about him. Uh, so while I, was, while I was studying here, um, in 2007, he was killed, and uh, the course of the theater was utterly changed. Or maybe I shouldn't say course, because they're still following the direction of doing um, experimental work, of talking about contemporary times and you know what issues do everyday people deal with. Um, but now there's no Mark Weil to, to lead people. So uh, it's, it, has, it has changed a lot, because uh, you can't just remove a great artist without, without it having an effect. But, um, the, the name of the theater itself means inspiration, and um, when he taught people, he really instilled that in people. He helped them to learn about themselves, about what they believed in, about even just how their own bodies moved, worked, um, and, and um, using a lot of you know, very traditional methods, actually, of Russian acting, got people to bring in their own material to put shows together. Um, but for some reason, it, it, it became sort of magical in this place.